Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Awesome Creations channel. Now today's just a short video. All I'm going to be doing is reviewing my new Milwaukee M12 heated hoodie. So it does get very cold here in the workshop and I can't keep the forge running all the time, although that does kick out a nice amount of heat. It's just uh, too expensive. Can't, can't afford to do that. I don't like using the electric heater again because it's just going to burn through the electricity bill. Uh, so I finally managed to snag myself one of these. Now, it's middle of October here in the UK and as soon as the weather starts to get cold, these things just disappear from the shelves. They're very difficult to get hold of. I tried to get one last year and couldn't. Uh, so yeah, I was quite lucky to get one this year. Now, I'll be honest with you, maybe I've gone a little bit Milwaukee mad. Um, this hoodie, okay, it did cost £120. Is that worth the money? And hopefully that's what we're going to cover in the review today. So this one is the extra large. Let's try it on for size. Right, enough of that funny business. Now, let's get down to the review. So, yes, extra large, which is my size. Uh, it actually fits really well. The uh, sleeve length is, yeah, very good. Body length, also very good. The lining inside, yeah, nice and soft. You can barely feel the uh, electric panels. Pockets with reinforced uh, outer edges on the pockets, which is nice. And when it does that, it is very comfortable. It is a very, very comfortable hoodie. Now the only, the only issue is, because I have been wearing this for uh, a day or so, um, just to, so I can give you a proper review. The only issue that I have is when I am working, I'd, sometimes I do get hot and I like to pull my sleeves up. Now these are very tight. Now I understand that they're tight, uh, designed to be tight on the wrist to stop any debris or anything going up. Uh, into the sleeves and if you wear gloves it can give you a bit of extra protection I understand but it is very tight and I, I, I couldn't I couldn't work like that sometimes you might be working on something that's a little bit dirty a little bit greasy and you want to pull your sleeves up it becomes very uncomfortable then yeah that's the only probably the only negative so far it's just with regards to the to the actual style and shape of the hoodie so yeah, just two side pockets. You've got another little inner pocket in here, a little mesh pocket, I don't know, keys or something, I suppose. Uh, no pockets on the inside. But all in all, a very comfortable hoodie. Now, you may have noticed, there's a little pocket here at the back. And it's got a little wire in it and a little plug. And then this is how it is powered. This hoodie, will uh, provide up to eight hours, up to eight hours on a fully charged M12 battery. That will be on the lowest heat setting. I think, so you've got three heat settings, high, medium, uh, low, medium, and high, or high, medium, low, whatever you want. The highest one, I think it said, uh, it only provides about three to four hours, if you're lucky. Then about five and six for the medium, and then on the lowest heat, you should get about eight hours. <clears throat> so yeah m12 battery into the uh, little adapter plug that in there stick it back in your pocket there's also a little pouch in there that holds the battery in um, so you can kind of hold it into place very similar to the little webbing on this side do it up job done and that's where your battery sits now that round battery, that M12 battery, I found to be a bit bulky. That's sitting right down there on the hip. So if I was sitting down on a seat or something, I imagine that would that would irritate me. Now to activate the heat, you've got a little button here. Press and hold that, glow red. We're on the maximum heat. Now, this is the thing. So I did kind of test this. All right, I was sitting in the house. Uh, <laughs> I tested this, I thought, oh, I'll sit down. Chuck this on and see how quickly I start sweating. Uh, I didn't. I'm really surprised. So I did. I bought Laura a heated um, waistcoat, a little heated uh, jacket. What do you call them things? 
body warmer, that's the one. So yeah, a heated body warmer for about £25 uh, on Amazon. I did buy a decent battery pack to go with it as well, uh, so that's probably another 20, 25 quid. So all in all, roughly 50 pounds for a heated body warmer that had many more panels than this. This has only got the three panels, two at the front, one at the back. <clears throat> that heated body warmer, I tried that on. Uh, the, on the hot heat, that heated up very, very quickly. This didn't, um, now, I know it is still only mid-October and it's only just kind of dropping down to around 10 degrees now, so it's still not super cold. So yeah, like I said, three heat functions, high, medium, and then low. This is the one that's gonna give you the eight hours. And I think this is, all this is literally designed to do is just take the edge off if you're on a work site or something like that. It does actually say on the instruction book, when it gets really cold, they advise you to use this essentially as a base layer because then it will keep a lot more of the heat in. One thing I did notice when I was uh, sitting indoors wearing this, the heat did seem to kind of radiate out as well. It didn't trap the heat in as much uh, inside. It didn't kind of like direct the heat this way. It, it warmed up the whole jacket. So yeah, so I can understand that if you are in a really cold temperature uh, or a really cold environment, then yeah, having another outer layer so will help keep the heat in. Um, yeah, and it'll probably work a little bit better. So, so yeah, ultimately, yes, it is a lovely, comfortable hoodie. The cuffs may be a little bit annoying for me, but I, I think I could get used to them. Uh, yeah, very comfortable hood, nice little Milwaukee uh, stitching in there. The, the quality is absolutely amazing. But is it worth the £120? <sighs> no, I don't, I genuinely don't think it is. And, and uh, I don't know, it pains me to say this because I love Milwaukee. Yeah, durability wise, we're going to see over the next few years, aren't we? We're going to see how it holds up. I'll, uh, I'll keep you all updated just to, to let you know how long the electronics are working. Apparently, it is machine washable. You can't tumble dry it, uh, but you can wash it. Anyway. So this is just my opinion on on this uh, hoodie, the M12 heated hoodie. Well, what I'll do is I'll make a second review video on this in a few months time, maybe January time, December, January, um, when it's really cold and then I'll try it again. Uh, but currently at the moment, considering there are cheaper options on the market, I think it's just a very expensive, branded hoodie um that yeah as i said i think i've gone a bit milwaukee mad uh, with this one thanks very much for watching if you have liked this video please give it a like uh share and subscribe that's always uh, appreciated any questions as always please leave them in the comments and i'll do my very best to answer them thank you very much and have a good day